legacy, new resources and new opportunities to inspire young people to take up sport. That was the pledge which won London the Olympics. The government's already been criticised for cutting the budget for school sport in England. So today they've been shown off the kind of project which could provide a lifeline for the next generation of Olympians. It's not just youthful enthusiasm putting a spring in the step of these gymnasts. It's the Olympics that's really given them a boost. This spanking new gym in Bexley in South East London has been built thanks in part to money from the Olympic Delivery Authority. It's exactly the kind of legacy ministers and the mayor want from this year's games. Oh, it's amazing. I can't describe it. It's really, really big and good. I want to see young people motivated by the Olympics to take part in sport. I believe in it absolutely passionately. It's something that can change young people's lives. It gives them boundaries, discipline, understanding of rules, all that sort of stuff. That uh, makes them fitter. And, and we're going to get Olympic champions as well. The gym club used to be based on an industrial wasteland down the road. Local teenager Zoe Smith trained there and against the odds became a weightlifting champion in with a chance of an Olympic medal. My aim is for the Olympics. I'm just sort of... Um... I'm going with the whole sort of, I'm shooting for the moon, at least you're on land among the stars kind of thing. And um, the moon being gold, right? Yeah, the moon being gold, and the stars being bronze, silver, or just even like top five for me. That's kind of my aim. She's pleased today's youngsters have the facilities she lacked. But it's a great sense to have. Um, well, without it, well, there would just be, well, you can see how many um, kids are just here now. They would all just sort of be, um, well, just sort of hanging out on the streets or just at home, get like beings or unfit and stuff, so it's, no, it's really important to have places like this, I think, in the local community. A promise to reinvigorate sport at the grassroots was at the heart of London's winning bid. But since then, the government has abandoned the pledge to get a million more people playing sport by 2013. And ring-fenced funding for school sports has been axed. The sports minister is talking up the school games, a government wheeze to allow thousands of school children to play competitive sport in the Olympics venues this spring. But there are fears the event is falling flat. Less than half the budget for school sports, and only around half the schools, I think, so far signed up. Are you disappointed by that? What are you going to do about it? No, I'm not disappointed by it at all. If you launch a new, if you launch a new scheme, to get half the schools signed up inside a year is actually an extraordinarily good effort. And people are overlooking the fact that Michael Gove has made physical education one of the four core curriculum subjects. It will therefore be delivered in every single school up and down the country in a way that has simply never other happened schools before. Signed up, uh, well, I hope the other schools will sign up as soon as possible. He says he always knew it would be tough telling me getting more people doing sport was like turning around a super tanker. In Bexley, though, there's no holding them back, leaving the London mayor almost breathless with excitement. Give me your assessment of these kids today. How I, think it's un it's, I think it's busy. I'm absolutely convinced that when I was a child, there wouldn't have been that level of accomplishment, and you wouldn't have had so many kids doing it. These, they're all from Bexley. I kept asking them, where are you from? They're from Bexley. If you've got so much talent in one London borough, who, 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 who knows what we can do? Didn't you have this at Eton, then? <laughs> Thanks, Boris Johnson. Thank you. A Newman.